Hey, how y'all doing? Uh, this is a quick video. I am actually in the middle of refreshing my hair. And I decided just to just throw the camera on to show you guys how I refresh my hair. Now, I feel like my hair tells me it wants to be refreshed between every three and four weeks. And I know everybody has their own schedule. I was personally, honestly, I wasn't, I wasn't doing it like on a schedule. I would just look at my hair in the beginning and I'm still kind of like this. I don't, I don't have like a certain day or I don't really count if it's three, four or five weeks. It's just when I feel like I'm ready to refresh my hair and I feel like the schedule tends to fall between three and four weeks. Uh, definitely by the month, I feel like, okay, let me go in and refresh it. I've been trying to wait months. I really have because, but my hair, the way the texture is set up, and again, it's probably used to me going in maximum every four weeks. So it's like, no girl, we're already used to this three, four week thing. That's what we want. And so, um, that's what I do. As you guys can see, my locks are all they're not like I don't palm roll. Now I will go in and do something like this. I was doing that in the beginning, like every two weeks, picking random locks and just do a quick little palm roll. But I really don't do that. I can't say I've been doing that the whole journey. I, I so I can't really say that's part of the maintenance. But um, yeah. So my locks definitely all have their own little character. No lock is the same. And again, you'll see the ends of my hair tend to be a little thicker because that's when I started them with braids or two strand twists. And so anything above that, after about at least an inch or three quarters of an inch, is all interlocked because this is hair that's all grown. So I didn't break that. That was that's maintained by interlocking or I don't know, some people call it crocheting. Whatever I'm doing, I'm using this tool now. This is a tool I got off Amazon. It's a, it had like five or six in the pack. I'm sure you've seen people online use this. That's where I got it from Amazon. Uh, I felt like I used this size. I had to wait. Or maybe I just didn't know how to use the tool. I was still using that crochet hook. And you guys look at my other videos. The, the crochet hooks that you know everybody use, the pink and the green or the purple the, the purple one's kind of small but the crochet hooks are the ones that i started my hair and i've been maintaining just go check out my other videos you guys know what i'm talking about but um i had to learn how to use this tool because i was like oh um i can't i don't know how to use it my locks are too small but uh duh that's why you have that area down there i was supposed to be pushing my log down but then it's why it gets wide so i had to actually learn how to use this tool and it's cool i like it um i don't like putting too much tension along my lock which is why I stopped using that crochet tool because I feel like it'll like make the ends of my locks kind of pointy can you see that and I don't like that because of how I use the tool I would put it in and then hook I didn't, I, I didn't like that so I didn't like how the crochet tool I felt like it was just making the ends of my hair too pointy so or just making them like too pointy thinning it out a little bit you see what i'm saying you guys can see it a little there a few you can see more than others but anyway so i stopped using that tool so i'm just rambling on this is supposed to be a quick video showing you guys how i uh do my hair so you guys know what tool i use you guys know when my hair feels like it needs to be done of course i like to moisture my hair now i don't need to be in the mirror when i do this i just so happen to be in the bathroom right now so uh, but normally i can walk and i could be sitting i could be just randomly with the tool i just touch and feel start in one area and feel my way around until i'm done um and that's how i refresh my hair i don't need to stand in front of a mirror but i do like to moisturize my hair this is a uh, purified water with different oils might have some peppermint oil different things in there all natural and i just sprinkle my hair with this this is what i use to moisture my hair anyways i know everybody doesn't like water everybody doesn't like oil this is what i do to my hair i feel like my hair likes it needs moisture even when i was a loose natural my hair has to has to have moisture um and i'm not talking about oils because oil is more like something that seals like it does help moisture but it doesn't it's not water-based so technically i guess it's not considered to be moisturizing so 
oils have each oil has their own benefit to what they do i actually use the jojoba oil on my face along with some rosehip oil but i i like to kind of focus on things that are kind of pure now this one says it's just strictly certified organic um jojoba oil it has this um plant name but that's it so i look for things that just has whatever it says it is in it no alcohol no other ingredients i don't know and again i'm just trusting the label because i didn't put this product together so i really don't know if it's 100 percent jojoba oil but i try to buy products that say they are what they are uh what else can i say about my log so yeah let me show y'all how quick before this video ends because i know i don't have that much storage on how i maintain it now the front of my head you guys clearly can see you can't see my scalp too much uh but around the perimeters of my hair tend to be the, the thinner softer textures so what i do is let me show y'all so i kind of am almost done in the back there's some areas up in here i started over here if you guys can see let's see that you guys can see i started over here and i'm like moving my way i kind of started over around in here now so I'm like kind of in here. Let me see if I can show you all feel. So if you guys can look, you guys can kind of see. You see that new growth and that hair that comes out where I have to continue over here. Um, I'll do, let me show you all how I would do one really quick before this gets cut off. So I don't use a clip, but I'm going to use this for purposes of showing y'all how I do it. So I spritz a little bit of water and that's purified water with organic type oils. And let me find an area. So as you guys can see hair grows from outside of my lock. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's hair that's growing outside of the lock, right? So I'll focus on, I'll touch around the locks. The areas to see which might need any hair because around the perimeter of my locks are a little thinner and softer in certain areas so i'll see if any locks need that hair and i i can just feel so i just feel and i make sure i stay in that area and then i just if i need to do any popping i do but i normally don't because i feel my hair regularly and make sure it's not sticking and then i just take that hair and i twist Twist until it stops twisting, not too tight. I take my tool, I go in. I'm doing a two point rotation right now. I kind of feel where I might want to start that rotation. Normally go like that and then down like so, okay? And that's how I do it. That new lock right here, I started it again today. Let's see if it stays. Every time I wash my hair, it doesn't stay. So that's how I maintain my hair, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, as you guys can see, the edges, I don't got that much edges, but uh, when I slick them down, that's when they look thicker. And I really don't have to slick them down. That hair kind of aggravates me, so I tend to pull that up. And then it, and it grows out, but my hair is so soft, so when it grows out, I kind of just add it to locks around the perimeter and they have gotten thicker because I've been doing that. So as you guys can see, I'm thickening it up at that root because uh, I've been doing that. Any other hair that, I don't really like to have too much hair slick down. I could care less about having a whole bunch of slick baby hair and cause it's really not baby hair. Technically it's only like a tiny, if even I'm like about to be 42 years old, what baby hair wear. But my hair does have a little bit that's the real baby hair. Like, if you want to say we got baby hair, for me anyways, for me, for my texture hair. Um, so, yeah, that's how I maintain my hair. And I'm going to keep refreshing it. I just want to share that with y'all. So, that was it. I don't know how many locks I got, y'all. I got to count them again because I've combined a couple in the front. But that's what my hair looks like. Every January, like I said in my last video, um, it turns a new year. So, of course, I can style my hair. I can do different things with it. Let me show y'all what it looks like. If I pull it all up, you can see the new growth. 
you can see it looking fresh there and over here certain areas i started coming around here too but in here you can see where clearly i have to go in where the growth is so my hair has been growing pretty fast i don't know if because of the oil i put together but i like this last um oil concoction i put together but let me go before the video cuts off um but i'll see I've, I've been using this concoction i made together with these oils and things um i really like this last one me and my daughter we always use whatever i make so my daughter's and we seem to be liking it. it seems to be really doing good to my hair making it grow but my hair is going to grow regardless but i do watch what i put in it and see how it reacts just to see just to see i know people with locks say that when you get to a certain stage they just start growing like crazy so um again i've been putting this a whole oil i have like a whole mixture that i put on here i added some rosemary some real rosemary to my oil but um yeah that's it i'm gonna go in and finish this up and probably go sit down stairs and drink a little bit of wine do this before i gotta get ready for work in the morning and then i have saturday sunday money off tomorrow's my mom's birthday i don't get off until like 6 30 i'll get back close to the city in my home like and it's gonna take me an hour to get back so um so maybe mom wants to do something i don't know she got her little new little boyfriend now so well her little male friend so who knows if he might try to up upstage me <laughs> i got like the whole weekend to spend with her so it doesn't matter it's her day whatever she wants to do my mom will be 62 63 tomorrow she was born 1960 we're 20 years apart i believe my math is right so yeah she'll be 60 she's gonna be 63 because then in february i turned no she's gonna be 62 like you guys i don't know whatever mm. y'all know whatever but yep yeah. wanted to show y'all what my hair was doing what it's looking like and that's it i'm gonna end this video have a good evening peace